Welcome to Carolina Welcome. Rashi, friends. We missed you guys. Yes, it has been a minute. It has been a minute because we've had breaking news. It was the Labor Day holiday, and now we are back. Your hair looks so good. Oh, thanks. It was hair washing day, so. Me too today. Was it? We're on the yes. same schedule. And we got this. We, first of all, for any time we have to get pictures done for work, like any type, of, we don't get like this. No, nobody sends us notice. a notice, and they don't think it's a big deal. Luckily, my mom bought me this new dress, and I wore oh, it today, Mrs. which is a Collins. good. Yes, it's wonderful. She sent it to me. It fits. It's great. Yes, love it. So it's a bright color, which is what you usually want to wear. Usually like I'm, wear, I'm like what? Right. Even though you look amazing, thank great, you. Wrong but with it. Still, there's a big difference in what looks good in a promo yeah. and, and like what you can wear on a newscast one day out of right. the whole entire year. And like I'm feeling kind of bloated today so like this dress is very like I'm actually you know? feeling very bloated too but wore this anyway and then I was like oh crap I would have worn something with a peplum to like cover that but we don't get Do it's easy to cover it on the dress? news but <laughs> I love it but I, I'm just gonna deal yeah, with it but yeah. But you it's look like great. it's just no one <clears throat> understands why it's very upsetting when we don't get a notice. Well, because it's just it's just kind of throws you off. I because also, it is important, yeah, right? And anytime that we do any type of print thing, like I love to get a spray tan, and I would have made arrangements to do that. Um, this is only for corporate, like it's not yeah. gonna. But still, it's cor it's it's a picture. It's, it's gonna be yeah. out there. And so. then they're gonna have this picture, and then. If they need to use it for something, mm -hmm. you know, they'll just pop it in somewhere. Right, so. right. So it's, it, but it's always been the case. And I think that it doesn't come from one singular person. It's just like the notice just isn't given. And so, you know, that's what, yeah. that's what happens. But, um, you know, but anyway, the saying goes, um, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And so that's basically how we live our lives doing the news because every day we just, I have to be ready and roll with the punches. Yes, yesterday we definitely had to. Um, there was some sad news we had to report on. It was actually crazy. Oh, it was so sad. I don't know if you guys have been following the hard news that we cover. Mm -hmm. You can talk about it a little bit. Well, just briefly to mention, um, and you can go on. Caroline's done a great job on her TikTok to explain everything, oh, and um, I shot some while we were live on air mm -hmm. of like what was going on. But basically, what. It, it's awful when an officer is shot. There was a Harris County, which is the biggest county in Houston, huge. Harris County Precinct 4 Constable uh, Deputy was shot and killed while he was on his way to work around 1245 last yesterday afternoon. Middle of the day. Middle of the day. And the guy, the suspect, uh, there led police on a chase in Galveston, which is like literally an hour away yeah. from the location. Uh, Galveston is, you know, by the water and so he drove his car into the water yep. and then he got out of the car and was swimming in the water and, and we had, were yeah, had a like a standoff with police treading water and they're like put your hands up so they're going up and then he but and we're watching just, it all live play out I mean I'm thinking to myself I'm hoping that we are not you know what are we witnessing because he could just go under obviously and then we just watched yeah. someone die so then police which, got him on their boat and then was he was arrested and unfortunately the deputy died he has a wife and he has two kids mm -hmm. we learned all about him yesterday after yeah. the news happened and we covered it for several hours straight yes. or live on air and it was just it's so sad i left work last night just like wow you know this family's whole life mm -hmm. is turned upside down now and it just it yeah it's tough yes. to cover yes. but that's why we like to acknowledge this stuff on caroline and rashi because it is happening mm -hmm. and then we are we're living through it the community's yes. living through it and then but we also want this to be a space to have fun too yes because what you can learn from from these type of instances especially um just what i do specifically for me is just the value of time. And yeah. I think you all spending your time with us and we try to uplift each other and just talk about things that are important, but you know, more conversational and, yeah. and, and just, yeah. it's important what you do with your time. It is. So anyway, we are just, we're still really upset over mm -hmm. that news and we're still covering it. If you go to Fox Local, you can see all of what we covered yesterday. Yes. Our newscast will be live tonight and we'll have all of our coverage still because we're still trying to piece things together yes it's it's, it's a it's lot crazy. even yes. more complicated yeah. than what we just explained so it is. stay tuned for that but some news today that caught my attention as soon as i woke up was the 
cast of the new Dancing with the Stars series has been series has been announced. Yes, okay? yes. And they announced that Anna Delvey, aka Anna Sorokin, the con artist who had a Netflix series all about her, who was in jail, is now going to be starring on Dancing with the Stars in her ankle monitor. I was like, this is too good to be true. She was convicted on eight charges, included attempted grand larceny, larceny in the second degree, and theft of services. She was acquitted on two additional charges, though. She served time in prison. She was detained by ICE because she's a resident of Germany. Now um, she's getting exceptions to be able to go to LA, to be able to participate in Dancing with the Stars. She still has to keep her ankle monitor on. She can only travel within a certain amount of distance that is approved by the judge. She actually apparently can't even be on social media. She does have a podcast, but Anna Delvey took the nation by storm whenever her this Netflix miniseries came out. I, first of all, had no idea about this. Person. Really? I've been living under a rock. Oh my gosh. When you said, oh my gosh, do you know what, you know. This was like two years ago that this show came out based on her. I, yeah, I didn't even, I think oh, that's, yeah. I had just given she yep. had a newborn, so I was just, oh, you know, yeah. not, you know. Yeah, that's true. But, um, so when Caroline told me about this, I was like, oh, yeah, okay. And I'm thinking it's it's a celebrity that, like, she I just don't know about. No, oh, and, well, you know, from a movie. she's, like, a celebrity for the wrong reason. Yes, and then when I found out, about, I need to, first of all, watch this documentary. I'm very so compelled to. she was arrested in 2017 for defrauding major financial institutions, banks, hotels, and her friends out of more than $250,000 to fund her luxurious lifestyle by pretending she was the daughter of a German oil tycoon, which she was not. Her family's very normal. And like, she frauded tons of people and businesses. I was reading a little bit about her before the show to just get some mm -hmm. more information. We were talking about it in the newsroom. And some of the promos that are airing, it's like, trust me, I, will, I won't lie to you. Or, you know, I, was I know like, something about deception or whatever. It's like... Well, first of all, ABC, shout out to you and the Dancing with the Stars PR and marketing team because honestly, there are some cool people that have been cast on there this season. Some Olympians that the, the girl who played rugby, like she's cool, but like nobody made a splash like Anna Delvey. We wouldn't be, we would not be talking about this or Dancing with the Stars if Anna Delvey wasn't cast. So this is a brilliant business decision. A hundred percent. But how do you feel about her actually being on it. Well, you know, if I was her coach, I would be like, I, I don't try to fool me. I'd be like locking my stuff up and. But does this set some sort of precedent? Well, look at, um, um, what's her name? Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Yes. The Netflix thing came out on her and I mean, then she got out of jail and I mean, she was on the Kardashians. She's like a celebrity now because Netflix, it's Netflix. They really honestly like them or not. They put out really compelling stuff. Oh yeah, they do. I just don't know if like someone who's a criminal who de defrauded so many people lied no. deserves an opportunity versus somebody else who has the accolades, has the well has been working I mean, hard. It is just dancing with the stars. But but it that's a that's I'm pretty sure that the stars get paid like twelve thousand an episode or so for filming like no for I mean every it's great episode. but I'm just saying like that is also like a a a way you can vault into other things mm -hmm. right so like it's a great opportunity I just hate that and it, it everything's unfair business is unfair we're going through some unfair stuff I'm going through yeah some a part of me agrees but then like a part of me is like you know Netflix and the writers of that show and everything did profit off of her name and likeness so it's like you know at least now she has an opportunity to like make some legit yeah, money I and not fraud that. people so like yes. second chances I guess I mean literally she went on the call her daddy podcast from prison like the host of that show called the prison and had to like you know keep putting in money to stay on the line mm -hmm. and they recorded an interview after the show came out and she's like yeah I'm not a fraud I'm not a fraud like everything is real it's like are you kidding me she has this weird accent that's bizarre even her accent's fake so you're gonna be cheering for her 
No, but honestly, I might watch just to see. How's she going to do her little thing with the ankle monitor? She's gonna I don't injure, know. Do you, she's going to injure her partner. Do you take a bath? Like, do you, do you, can you take it off in a bath? Or That's a good question. I don't know. And now I kind of want to look it up. Y'all know anything about ankle monitors? Not you personally. I'm just saying, like, can you, you know, take if anybody a bath else. Or a I'm not going to put you on camera. Don't Is worry. Is it waterproof? Oh, oh put no, put bag. some of our directors bag. are here who will not be on camera. Oh my God, I would just, it would, they would, yeah. But, oh, put a cast over What was that over famous it. line that went viral? It's like, uh, oh my gosh, it was like the social media sound that blew up from the show with the accent. It's crazy how that actress portrayed her. I mean, you see her in real life and I'm like, Griselda? What? Who are you talking about? Anna Delvey. Oh, yes. I where, we did, talk- where did Griselda get the ankle monitor? No, because you were talking about an actress portraying somebody. Anyway. Yeah, the actress who portrayed Anna Delvey right. in no, not Venting her. Anna. Okay, okay. Yeah, no. was spot on because she sounds exactly like the real Anna. I have got to, to see this thing. Yeah, you but, have yeah. to. It was, I mean, it exploded. But you definitely couldn't go into the pool with an ankle monitor. No, but I guess I guess we'll see how it all turns out. I will probably be tuned in because of this. So good job. Good job on your marketing. We'll be right back. Well, we have to wish Queen Bee mm. a happy 43rd birthday today. Do you believe Beyonce is 43 years old today? No, ma'am, but she is. She in is an inspiration. Bo. Oh, my goodness. I mean, she's just so, she's just so Beyonce. I have no other words. But she also is now launching her whiskey brand, Sir Davis, that is available today on her B-Day. Yes. In stores. Yay. So Sir Davis is this whiskey brand that she launched we've talked about it on the show whenever she announced this mm-hmm. she anonym- anonymously entered it into contests and then it won all these awards yeah so apparently it's good now it's available in stores it is available in texas i have confirmed that specs does have this whiskey in their store right now our coco dominguez is going to be going to go cover it maybe even taste it oh so i would have love that tonight to taste it yes and um they sent out a press release today, they being the Sir Davis Beyonce people. Um, <laughs> what? Beyonce didn't send it to you? I don't know. Oh um, in the press release, they recommend making a honeybee. It's a cocktail paying homage to the brand's founder and crafted using Sir Davis's American whiskey, fresh lemon juice, and honey syrup garnished with honeycomb. That sounds you have good. honeycomb left over or honey left over from your charcuterie board? I did the hot honey. Oh, the hot I do honey. a lot of regular honey, like on the, you know, mm-hmm, we do cardinal mm-hmm. cheese and blueberries with honey. Yeah, do that a yes, lot. Yes, but yes, yes, I love honey. So anyway, I actually went to a whiskey bar this week in downtown Houston. Well, this was on Sunday, mm-hmm. and had some clarified whiskey on ice with something on top, and it was incredible. So now I'm like, am I a whiskey? When girl? you say it's incredible, what does that mean? Like, was it? Um, it- what was clarified? So. Basically, if it doesn't like taste like a really strong alcohol, I like it. So it just it oh, so was it really didn't good. taste like Mm-mm. nail polish remover. No, 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 no. Whatever it they was like the a process sweet. to make it clear and how they do it. I they were telling me, but I was not really paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's like, oh, this is good. Yeah, okay, good. Um, my boyfriend and his friend were like really into it. I was like in my own world. Right. Um, it it made it taste really good. It wasn't like drinking. Uh, that you know, is nail polish great. remover. Yes. So anyway, I I'm open to trying this Beyonce whiskey, mm-hmm. and more open to trying it in the form of like a honey bee, like they said, or a cocktail. We should make it like because we have all the ingredients in the other set. I, you know, I never realized this about myself. I really didn't. I had a realization when I went to Total Wine uh-huh. to purchase alcohol. Uh-huh. I needed tequila, so I was like. I didn't buy tequila, and I was like, well, maybe like our guests want might want tequila yeah. instead of. Tito's with their soda or whatever 
And I immediately was like, where's the 818? Because it's Kendall Jenner's. Like, it wasn't like Casa oh, Amigos or yeah, anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, I was a big sucker for Skinny Girl Vodka when uh -huh. that was a thing. Mm -hmm. That was like back when I was in college. This is kind of like before Tito's had its moment. Yeah. And that was Bethany Frankel's. Right, right. So I'm kind of a sucker for this celebrity. I mean, George Clooney did do the whole Casa Amigos thing or whatever, I guess. But, like, he's not like a Beyonce. No, but, like, I only drink Terramana. Oh, who's that The Rock. Oh my gosh, right, yes. Johnson, yes. I'm so influenced by these celebrity Well, because I'm like, brands. okay, one, it has to be like not crappy stuff because they are all, yeah. you know, health conscious. And secondly, True. if they like it, that means like I'm a little closer to them because right? I yeah. will also potentially like it. And there's a connection yeah. there because that's all we want to do. And I think that these celebrities at this level, we're talking Beyonce and The Rock, Kendall Jenner, like they know that their product has to be good to compete with the already incredible yes. products out there. Yes. Like this isn't just a little, because at first in our newsroom, people were like, not Beyonce, but I just slapped her name on it. Like, no, I guarantee you there was research, mm -hmm. there were tastings, like I'm sure she was particular. Yes. I mean, I think that. I think she got the right backing. I don't think she's like in there brewing her own whiskey. Right, <laughs> right, right. No, but you know, I know definitely. I wouldn't know if I was like, I'm passionate about wine and I want to make a wine. Like I'm not going to be making it like in my kitchen. I'm going to like find a team and. But that's, but I mean, obviously a lot of people do know you, but, and then they trust you. It's not at the caliber of you know, obviously Kylie Jenner, not that you can't get to that point. Or mm -hmm. what was Kendall Jenner? Kendall, Kendall, Kendall yeah. Kendall Jenner. But uh, see, but I, use, I use Kylie's, I use Kylie's like makeup, makeup and products. stuff, right. Yeah. But my point is, is that that work ethic and that reputation is already there. Yeah. Where you know yeah, yeah. they would only put out products that. Well, you would hope and yeah. Right. And then once you try them and see like they're doing well, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, mm -hmm. so I would love to try this Beyonce whiskey. What is it called? Sir Davis. Yes. And I would I would prefer to make it in the cocktail, though. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, because if it's clarified back. whiskey, I will totally try it on the rocks. We should have Coco bring us back a bottle. And we should make the cocktail. Uh, well, a bottle is like $89, right? I would like to have it in my, well, yes. in my, in yes. my home bar that I'm trying <gasps> to build. That would be good, too. Yeah, you know, I even know, just yeah. to, I, some of them, I feel like. They're almost decorative pieces, even if like you never open yes. it. Yes, like it just is cool to have That's sitting there. That's true. Now I want one just right. For the decorative you know piece. the yeah. Casamigos bottle yeah. are so vibey. You can also drink it and then like put apple juice in it, and it's yeah. Like or you can just fill it up with the Kirkland vodka or whiskey, and no one will even know. No. I hear that's what they do in the clubs, like when they when they what? Like a, yeah, when you have like a table of women, right, and they like want to bring you out like champagne or whatever. They'll bring out like the big fancy. You think it's like a thousand dollar bottle, and they literally have like Kirkland alcohol in there. We've been gypped. I know. For real. Well, I mean, whatever. I Kirkland. I mean, at right? that point, you're just kind of like whatever. Yeah, my mom was like, "You guys bought wine at Costco. Like, is it good?" I'm like. <laughs> Yes, it's good. Yes. It is good. Some of the best wine that I've had is very cheap. Like, thank you. 15, 20 bucks. That's what I said. It was great. I had a glass with my charcuterie. Yeah. Even that box wine. It's good. What is it? Bronzia. Bronzia. I thought all wine came in a box when I was younger. I just <laughs> thought that that was like normal. <laughs> hey, you do what you got to do. We'll be right we'll back. We'll be right back place that you are going to work there's always this, like can I sign my contract before I quit like because right. it's just like ah, yeah. it's so it's a lot so anyway there is a company in Japan that will actually quit your job for you like this is for real <laughs> it's fittingly called the exit and they actually handle resignations of more than 10,000 people per year there are other companies in the country doing the same exact thing you pay these quitting agencies a fee and they will tell your boss that you're leaving then they handle the details like the last day and returning uniforms and all the stuff that maybe would seem overwhelming to somebody who has to quit their job. I would hope you have developed a good enough relationship to where, you know, whenever you quit, it's like more like amicable and yeah, you know, both parties are, are okay with it. But mm -hmm. there have been several instances and I'm sure you know about it in different businesses where it's just kind of like a disgruntled yeah, sort of. it was so bizarre because for when I was working at one job and then as a weekend anchor and a reporter and then going into another job because of my schedule, I worked the weekends and then I didn't come into work until like 3 p.m. Like mm -hmm. I actually had to 
and I felt like so wrong about doing this, but I like called the GM, I'm trying to email, I'm like trying to get a hold of this person. And finally, I think I just had to do it through an email, which I felt so bad about. Yeah. GM is general manager. Because I, like, I'm, we, I was missing them mm -hmm. and our crops were not packed. Our paths That's were not, not crossing. crossing. Yes. And I ended up just having to like send an email be like, hey, um, this is what's going on. And yeah, I told him, I was like, I'd rather have emoji. done this over the phone. <laughs> but well, yeah. Don't quit over the phone. Yeah, like I thought we were getting going. rap or, or rap music. Like That's the, Hey, the show. cue the show and music. Is yeah. that it? Yeah, we're exiting. We're, we're exiting. We're yeah, done. We're done. Anyway, for the real. The might sound better. <laughs> no, I think I think we've I, talked. I think we're done. Today. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for watching us. Another edition of Carolina Rashi coming your way tomorrow, 3:30 p.m. Central, unless one of us is sick. Kidding. <laughs>